Yo, yo, guys. What's going on? Absolute here. And it is... Never mind. It's not even that late anymore. But it's 10 a.m. right now. Beta's still going on. I'm having a little trouble finding a match. This is... Uh, this is day three of the beta. But while I'm waiting, I've decided that I... I, I want to talk to you guys about the things that I think people are going to uh, be using in competitive. Because that's basically what I'm going to be trying to do during this whole Infinite Warfare year, right? Basically just grinding competitive COD, you know, trying to build a name for myself, for my competitive self. And so, um, honestly, I don't know if rigs are going to be allowed in competitive. If they are, which they most likely will be, I'm pretty sure there's going to be things that are going to be banned, of course. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to be banned, but... There probably will be some things that people view overpowered. Well, they're all supposed to be overpowered anyways. But, you know, you know what I'm saying. So, um, what's it called? Like, I, I don't know about, like, any of this stuff. Like, I'm not going to comment on that because I don't even want specialists to be in the game. But, eh, they're not, I don't see them as overpowered as Black Ops 3. But they are really strong still. So, we're going to start out with assault rifles. Um, I'm pretty sure people, the, the ARs of competitive are going to be using either the K-Bar, maybe the Volk, I don't know, we haven't been able to use it yet, but I'm thinking maybe the K-Bar, because that's a really, like, versatile assault rifle. You can use it at close range, you can use it at long range, which I've been killed close range with SMGs, and it's like, yo, man, they have an assault rifle, how come they freaking beating us and stuff? But I'm, I'm thinking, like, on those long-range maps, it's going to be the R3K. Like, you know, this is basically the M8 of this game. You know, it, it's a pretty good weapon, too. But, like, other than that, I, I, this is all saying without Banner Protects, too. If there's no Banner Protects, then this is what I'm, this is what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking it's going to be the K-Bar and the R3K, depending on the map, like, long-range, medium-range type of map. You know, it's going to be that R3K, but... The K-Bar is most likely going to be the one used on, you know, those roaming maps that you have to run around and do all that quick stuff. So I'm thinking it's these two. SMGs. SMGs are really hard to answer because I've used every SMG and they are all really good in their own different way. The Ripper is really good. It has a f really fast fire rate. I think it... Yeah, never mind. Uh, the FHR has a faster fire rate, but the Ripper... I don't know, has more damage or something. No, it doesn't even have more damage. I don't even know how this out, this gun outbeats the FHR then. That's weird. But, uh... The Ripper... Mm, I think this might be... I don't know. Like, all the SMGs are really dominant, too. Like, none of them really stand out over the other, other than the E-Red. The E-Red is a really balanced, like, good SMG. It was, like, the first one that I used, and I enjoyed it the entire time. Then the second one I used was the Karma, which is the Vector. And I think the only reason why this would be it is because it shoots pretty quick and it has a large magazine. That way you don't have to reload, you know. And then if you put extended mags, you have like 80-some bullets and an SMG and it's just crazy. But, um, like the FHR at first, if you don't have a grip on this gun, if you don't have a grip on this gun right here, you will shoot straight at the sky until you get a freaking a freaking uh, grip on it because you will just straight look straight up and then um so honestly i have no idea what smg is going to be used in competitive i'm thinking it's going to be the e-red and the karma majorly other over the ripper and the fhr or the p90 or whatever i'm, I'm calling it a p90 because it's a p90 but that's what I think. I think it's going to be the E-Rad and the Karma and then the R3K and the H-Bar. The Snipers. I'm not even going to go over LMGs because ain't nobody going to use LMGs other than Nagafen, you know. Snipers is obviously going to be the KBS Longbow because... I don't know how this will work. Having an Assault Rifle Sniper. That's basically like having Overkill built into the weapon. So it's like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if 
That's gonna even... I, I think they would ban this weapon, right? Because then it just basically gets rid of overkill. I don't know. And then the Widow Mug... This gun is freaking garbage. I don't know why anybody would prefer this sniper over the longbow. Still, then again, we haven't used this one, but this is a semi-automatic sniper rifle, so most likely nobody's going to use this, you know. This is just the M1. Yo, now I know why they freaking put this gun in here. Because they already have it in here in the snipers. Alright, alright, we got you, we got you. Shotguns, I'm not going over that. If we can use classic weapons. If we can use classic weapons. <gasps> oh yeah, the SMG. I have no idea how this gun is, so that might also be viable and competitive too. But for now, as of the beta, I'm thinking just the Karma and the Erad still. Snipers, yeah, 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 yeah. If we can use the, the classic weapons, which I really doubt it, I'm thinking the the UMP-45 and the uh, intervention make it to competitive. Other than that, uh, pistols, pistols, pistols. Definitely the Kindle 44 needs to be nerfed or banned because you have no idea. You have no idea how many times I've played this beta, right? And freaking got killed by this pistol. By the preset class, right? There's a preset class in here that you can use with this pistol. And it shoots faster than freaking anything. But this is a three-round burst, like... So I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be either this pistol. This is going to get banned, definitely. Or nerfed or something. Something has to happen to this pistol. And then... Maybe the EMC. So, obviously, the R3K right here. Obviously, the R3K is coming back, which is great. Another three burst freaking death. Man, I hate the R3K. I really hate that pistol, man. But the EMC, you know, I they don't do nothing with that. Like, this is the same gun as this pistol right here. They just, like, switched the color on it. <laughs> And then called it the G18. Damn. That gun is still sexy, though. I remember using it in MW2. Akimbo freaking... Uh, I don't even remember the name, and I just said it. Man, I'm tired. This has been a long weekend, ladies and gentlemen. But, honestly, like... I don't know what ELO does. I haven't really used it much. I haven't really used any uh, attachments other than foregrip and quick draw. Like, on all my glasses. That's it. I I have used stock on this one. I don't think I've used this class yet, honestly. Perks, perk wise, perk wise, I'm thinking. I don't really remember what the map looks like without recon, so I don't think it's gonna be too bad without recon. Like I don't I don't see a difference. Then again, I don't know what I'm looking at. Like I don't even know what classes I have half the time. But dexterity is going to be a main one. Last shield for them freaking. Stupid nade. Yo. Hold on. This grenade. Right, this grenade right here. Is on a preset class. And people have been using it all weekend dude. It is so annoying. Because. If you get flashed by it. Your screen turns black. For like 5 seconds. And you're like. Well. Now I can't play the game. It's broken. Ano shot. Stimulant. Supercharges health regeneration. What the. Uh, I have not seen that. Grenade seeking grenade is annoying. Uh, this grenade is trippy. It's weird. Black hole projector. I'm glad that's not in the beta. C4. I'm glad that's not in the beta. Bio spike. People have been throwing around the bio spike, but it ain't ain't nobody gonna use that. Cluster grenades are annoying too. Uh, perk two. Obviously, cold blooded. Momentum might be a thing. Momentum and cold-blooded would probably be momentum, cold-blooded, and tack resist. Which I thought tack resist, flash shield. Never mind. Same thing though. They have two perks to cancel out two different things of the same type of like category, I guess. So I mean, I don't know. And this one, a dead silence, obviously for search and destroy. Um. 
uh, hardwired, maybe. But other than Dead Silence, I'm thinking Marksman and then possibly Hardwired. But other than that, I don't... Man, I wanted to get freaking Dead Silence too. I was over here trying to freaking run through these people in the beta. Freaking they ain't be able to hear me and stuff like that. Obviously, obviously the variants won't be allowed in competitive. Hopefully, I swear, dude. Hopefully, variants won't be allowed in freaking competitive. I mean, that's that's pretty obvious that, that it's not going to be in competitive. But I'm just saying, if they somehow make it to competitive, I am going to lose something. And if they have a competitive game mode, right? Man, I still haven't found a match. Hold on. But if we haven't... If there's not a competitive game mode, like for like like Arena or something, like in Black Ops 3 or Advanced Warfare. If there is one, please, Infinity Ward, take out the variants of competitive play. Because it just makes it not competitive. It just makes it like you have to use variants to be good. Or not, not really to be good, but like... It just gives people too much of an advantage, even though these variants seem like they're not really doing much of a difference other than like lowering recoil or giving you more ammo. Please take out the variants from rank play. Alright. And uh that'll be it for today. I went over my thoughts of um what I think competitive players will most likely lean towards. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, things can still change. Well I'll uh 